create patient forms. Now let's move towards appointments. This is appointment form in which the details of the patient and the doctor are maintained like the status of the patient, the physician's name, the appointment start date and end date, the urgency level, the speciality of the physicians, whether the appointment is invoice exempt or not, etc. are maintained. The next is pediatric symptom checklist wherein the PSC's total score of the patient is calculated. The questions like whether the patient is distracted easily, feels sad or unhappy, is irritable and angry, etc. are maintained in the system. The doctor can also prescribe medicines to the patient using prescription option. This is a sample prescription. In this, the name of the medicine, the dose units, form, frequency, quantity, etc. of the patient, etc. of the medicine is maintained. The appointment can also be invoiced using create invoice option. The next is patient hospitalization administration. This records are for the patients who will be admitted in the hospital. We have registration code, the hospitalization date, the expected discharge date, attending physician, operating physicians, admission type, the reason for admission. Also, the transfer history from the patient is maintained. The nutrition history of the patient like the beliefs of the patient, whether the patient is vegetarian or vegan, the diet details of the patient, etc. are maintained. We have medication in which all the medicines provided to the patient are maintained. The next is care plan wherein the nursing plan and the discharge plan for the patient can be maintained. And the last one is ICU wherein the details that whether the admitted patient is admitted to the ICU or not is maintained. The next is intensive care. In this we have patient ICU information wherein the registration code, the ICU admission date of the patient, the duration and the mechanical ventilation history for the patient is maintained. We have GCS that is Glasgow score of the patient. The next is ECG that is electrocardiogram details of the patient and at last we have Apache 2 score of the patient wherein the physiological and chronic details of the patient is maintained. Thus all the information related to the patients in ICU is maintained. The next is nursing options. We have roundings in nursing wherein the details of each round of the patient, those who are admitted in the hospital is maintained. We have six P's, vital signs and other information. We have ICU related information like neurologic, respiratory and chest expansion details we have cardiovascular details blood and skin type details digestive and abdomen details the next is various procedures done on the patient next in medicine we have different medicines prescribed to the patients we also have lists of medical supplies and accordingly the entries are made in the warehouse of the system Thus, the stock moves and the track of all the medicines is kept in the system. The next is patient ambulatory care. Herein, the details of the ambulatory patients like the procedures done on the patient, what was the base condition of the patient, the physician, 
and the health professional helping the patient other details like vital signs glycemia the medicament history for the patient etc is maintained the next is newborn's record this is a newborn record in which details like mother of the child baby's name baby's picture sex date of birth discharged length weight cephalic parameters of the newborn are maintained the other details like apgar score appearance pulse grimace activity and respiration details of the newborn are maintained the findings and tests of the baby like neonatal signs and symptoms neonatal reflex check the medicament lists provided to the baby the diseases related to the newborn are maintained next let's move towards laboratory options we can create draft lab test request this is a sample draft lab request in which the date the patient's name the test type doctor and state of the request are maintained we can create lab tests and also lab invoices for this request create a sample lab test as you can see the template that we had created in the configuration section is automatically loaded in the lab tests we have this column called result to enter the result of the lab test for this particular patient once you click on edit you can enter the test result and add remarks The lab test report printout can also be taken. The next is option for invoices. We can create invoices for appointments, lab requests and for prescriptions. The next is reporting options. in this various reportings like like appointment evaluation per doctor appointment evaluation per doctor appointment evaluation per medical health center appointment evaluation per prescriptions appointment evaluation per specialty etc can be seen that was all about our open erp medical healthcare hospital management system thank you for your time have a good day